hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a dancey type drop. Um, it's not really a dubstep drop. You could use it in dubstep if you wanted to, but uh, it's more for dance songs, I think. So uh, yeah, I'll start us off. Basically, you want to start off with. Uh, Your kick drum looking like that. You can do it with uh, your snare drum if you want to, whichever one you want to do. Snare sounds all right. So yeah, you start off. Well, you can even start off like that if you want, even less beats. So um, yeah, let's put that in timeline. And uh, yeah, so you've got that going there. And then you only want well two bars of that really. It's a bit slow and boring. So then you go to a new pattern and you do it uh, half the uh, amount you did last time. Let's so make it like that. And then you want uh, it halved again on the new pattern. So. Uh, Finally, you want it completely like that. So see what that sounds like then. And then basically you'd go into your main beat there, so I'll just make a main beat quickly to show you. I mean, this is quite basic stuff. I mean, don't take a genius to do it, but I mean, you know, it's handy and it's a good trick that a lot of the uh, proper producers use. So there. So you've got that. You have your um, your actual tune and melody uh, in between. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have that, you know, your melody along it and stuff. So it wouldn't actually sound like that. I'll get up a version that I've done. With all the melody and stuff. For you. Uh, this will do. Sorry about the daft names. I tend to uh, experiment with the names of my songs. It's a bloody bugger sometimes. Yeah, finally it's loaded. Right, here you go. Here's one for you. So there's your tutorial to making a uh, a fast build up to your um, main beat. There you go. See you later. God bless.